Hello, French. I'm calling regarding the young man Bobby Risky or Bobby Whiskey, the man came out of prison Nigerian and won the election. Award. The joy of the it, best the joy of it is that the guy is a female dress. That is the award. best part of it. And this is a thing that we need to celebrate as my Africa. concern you know, have to do the with a young man is what we are who came on and something also making in Nigeria, which they are celebrating right now. Conclusions Nigeria, that are in Senegal, and baseless. A young man won as and foremost. And people are celebrating your hate for the LGBT right community the must be reasonable and sensible. I'm saying this because, let me tell you something. The bill you are calling for for the president of Ghana to sign was signed in Nigeria under Obasanjo, Olisegun Obasanjo, the president of Nigeria. It went through the Congress, it went through the Senate, the National Assembly, the president signed. So in Nigeria, the law you are to sign in Ghana already exists, right? But the LGBT community there also exists. You don't make a law to say people should not exist. That is dangerous. If you have problem with prostitution, make your law of prostitution to affect everyone by singling out a particular sex or the two sexes that is personal to individual is a bit below the belt. Now, Bobby Risky is a Nigerian, a celebrity, an artist known the whole of Nigeria. And like you have Eurovision, there is a contest for people to come and dress, whether you are a man or woman. Come and dress. The, 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 what do you call it? The event was not about your sex. It's about dressing. Who can dress better and more? Right? The dressing we will classify as feminine. But it's not for women. If it's for women, then you first have to take each of them into a toilet and check what they have down there. So please, stop what you got wrong. Anyone who can, it's like football. You're going to play football. Anyone who can play the best of the football should come out. But Risky went in there. A man, everybody knows he's a man. But he wants to be identified as a woman. I don't even know whether he has undergone trans uh, gender change. But there's something. What he did by the judgment of the crowd, 170 million people of Nigeria, he is one of them. And they've realized that he's not a threat to anyone. Leave his life for him. And one Togolish will sit on air talking upside down. And let me warn you, it's, a, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm throwing your attention. If you are Ghanaian, Please go and read the constitution of Ghana. Even Sam George himself attests to the fact that everyone is protected by the constitution of Ghana, regardless to your sexuality. Go and read the constitution on the right of the Ghanaian. Unless you want to tell me eh, people who are gay and lesbians, they just came from the sky one night. We grow with them. I don't know where you come from in Togo. Because if you're a Ghanaian, you'll be able to understand English language and read the constitution. It's black and white. For you to come and sit here telling us that when people become gay, humanity will cease to exist. What kind of conclusion is that? Hey, are you serious? There are gays in Nigeria. The population is growing. People who procreate are the majority of the human race. The world population is growing you know, seriously Senegal in the United States of America. They don't care whether you are gay or not. In um, India, they don't care whether election. you are gay or not. In Russia, in they don't care whether you the are gay or not. Europe, they don't the care. The but their population and is going up. South America, a lot of them. The, is the challenge is around the state, the government recognizing that this man and this man are married, whether by Islamic law or by Christian law or even pagan law or any law. This 
is what is happening. Let Nigeria. me tell you how marriage yes, what is in Ghana in right is made formal. Young man if you don't know, and the same with the standard of the world. Wherever you go to get married, go and get married. But when you go there and get married, whether at the church or the mosque or whatever, you then go to your local government. It's like giving birth to a child at home or in the hospital or wherever. Then you go to your local government for birth certificate. It's the same thing. It's the same thing you do when you come to marriage. That certificate given to you is what you present to the rest of the world in any formal transaction. That I and this man, we are in a civil partnership. In other words, we are in a relationship. There is a contract between us. And, the voilà. won over the and this is and what the, the LGBT society. community in Look Ghana are asking for. In but extinctionist alarmist coming to say that society, you today, it is not are a threat to, to humanity. To what the and hell? Where do you get that from? What, what, can, what do you drink? What society? do you smoke before you come and talk? There is a problem here. If you are scared, and this exactly is the language Let me write of the pagans when Christianity was coming. Ah, our well, value will be stolen. Our LGBT innocence of our children will be stolen, like Sam George. Our this will be stolen. Oh, our tribe will vanish from the face of the earth because Christians are coming. Today, Christians are part of the population of Ghana as the pagans are. All the noise they made, killing people, attacking families that are, are in that condition, attacking individuals who go near the uh, missionaries. Today, we have people. They don't even allow you to go to school because they believe when you go to school, you become a Christian. Today, Christians are in Ghana. Pagans are in Ghana. Nobody is dying. Ghana is still there. The same thing with Islam. When Islam was coming, we had people like this. Christians and Muslims ganging up together. They are going to steal our nation. They will come and start killing animals here. They will be praying and shouting. Of course, I have a problem with the prayer and shouting like the churches and the mosque. We, 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 but today, the chief imam exists in Ghana. The Akikam bishop exists. The head of the pagans, if they are able to organize themselves, exists. And they all live in peace. There's no problem. Everyone is living their life in Ghana. The human race like a Why the are you going to say when the Christians come? Be, because Christian doctrine says one man, one wife. Come, one man, one, one, one wife. Christian doctrine. You can't find one person and when you are married, I want to see that thing in Ghana. When you go to <laughs> registry to go and marry, you have two wives. Like you have the president, the new president of Senegal has two wives. Those wives are not actually wives. legal and today, because woman, you need to go and when you are woman, going to get married, they will ask you and the woman award over before they give you the marriage certificate, have you got to slap any objection? Do you know this man? Do you think society? if you go and tell them that there's another woman and you disagree with the marriage, which woman will follow a man? To a registrar and say, I'm married to this woman, but I also agree he should have another wife. No woman in this world would do that. No woman would do that. You can count them if they exist. And therefore, most of your illegal marriages you do, you call it polygamy. Wife one, wife two, wife three, wife four. That you can't take care of even. How many kids do you want to have? Let me be honest with you, Mr. Man. The population of the world is growing seriously, seriously growing. And the joy of it, the joy of it. Seven point something. We can't take care of. We are going to seven billion. The whole world. This is not the case. Now there's medication. Children don't die. Now the car accidents are reducing. Now good quality of houses, education, healthcare. Everything is there. So what killed people before don't exist again? Why do you want to have so many children? In the past, people have risen for having too many children. Because the more look at Gaza. Everyone has one wife in Gaza. Nobody has got two wives in Palestine. Everyone one wife. Go and see children. They are like rats. So don't say a person not marrying will lead to extinction. Or, or when you marry one wife, then you have fewer children. You have so many. It's up to you. But your life will be better under one wife, even with 50 children, that three three wives with, with, with five children. They will make your life hell. Please. Well, that's your choice. Anyway, we are not about how many wives you have. We are just telling you that stop the extinctionist, alarmist 
a political uh, uh, shenanigan. It must come to an end. Nobody can take it anymore. You better stop it because everyone must have 